Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Suffering. <laughs> All right, dude, I'd love to be listening to what you're saying, but, you know, we have some very rude monsters interrupting our lovely little chat here, but that's okay. We aren't exactly strangers to monster slaying now, are we? You can block my shots all you like, sir. I have lots of bullets. The Asylum. So due to some very poor scripting there, uh, I have no idea what he was saying. But anyway, we've got another page, the Asylum. Oh. Caving. At some point in the Missed mid that. Weak mineshaft support beams gave way and trapped a number of quarry workers under several tons of rubble. Oof. The official story was that the prisoners were killed instantly. Other inmates maintained that the workers survived the collapse, but no attempt was made to rescue them. The inmates were so enraged, they revolted against the COs and lynched five of them. What <laughs> really happened nice. may never be known. The Asylum. On the far western edge of Carnate stands an old Victorian home built in 1877. In 1899, the home was converted into the oddly titled Carnate Institution for the Alienated. This small institution was run by one Dr. Kiljoy, whose methods were far from conventional and often tragically lethal. What exactly happened to Dr. Kiljoy is unknown, but the asylum was abandoned in the 1930s and has been uninhabited ever since. Interesting. So, some kind of madhouse, I guess? Can't go through there. Can't go through there. Ah, okay. Alright, well. I guess we can't get to the other one just yet. Let's go explore this house, shall we? Ooh. Alright there, fella. Well, you've had a bad night of it. So, what the hell is this guy hooked up to? Some sort of electrod. Electro doodad. Well, I mean, you know, he's already dead, I guess. Can't exactly hurt him anymore. Hold it right there. Not supposed to leave Abbott, don't they tell you anything? <laughs> Hello, dude. You come in, please. You come in. Yes, come in. I not woke you up. Name is Sergey. Hello, Sergey. Wait, are you really there? Or maybe I am dreaming again. No, <laughs> no, you real, da? He's a filthy hypocrite. He's so friendly. He's a disgusting. <laughs> Scott, they all went out. Try to find out what is happening. Me? I say why. I hear the sounds. Boom, crash. Ah! <laughs> I've seen some things through the doorway there. 
things I don't want to see again. Understand? I stay right here. We're safe. And I have pipe to keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> my stereo uh, power go off. It don't work now, you see? If I could just enjoy a few more spins of my music, I'd be a happy man. Well, but we'll try and sort that out. The story about this place it was a crazy house. A place where they sent people who not know what is what. Me, I self-medicate, that huh? <laughs> <laughs> Been abandoned for many years. Now we guards come here to be free. It's the only place I feel safe on this island. I think you want something here. Is it to share pipe with me? No, I don't think so. I think maybe it is something else. A strange thing that goes on in this house. Maybe because you trouble? I ask you, why bother? Be mellow, go with flow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like him. Who knows? What else break here in old house? Maybe something in attic. Maybe you want to go find out. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, you really have been uh, self-medicating in here. Will you say something? No, I only think you did. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. I'm trying to be quiet, but you're doing enough talking for the both of us. Uh-huh. Hmm. Quite, my friend. Bad man, you corrupt us. <laughs> it's funny. They think you corrupt. On Carnet, worst place I ever been. More awful than worst place in Russia, I tell you. <laughs> Even if you don't corrupt here, they get corrupted. Eh? These bad spirits, they corrupt. I think you're onto something there. Set the balance. Now the spirits of this place come to get rid of us. Me? Is not to blame them. You're probably the best guard here. I want something good to die for, to make it beautiful to live. You see, there's nothing beautiful here. Listen, my friend, when you become citizen, they ask you who will discover America. Answer, only answer is Columbus. But I tell you, this country had strong spirits, spirits. Who were here before you or me? Before Mayflower, before Columbus. Spirits not so happy what we do to their land. Now they mad. They punish us. More you fight them, more they hurt you. You're smart like me. You stay here. Spend your last hours as happy as possible. <laughs> You're done? I come to this country, nope. land of the free, and I end up working in a prison, a gulag. It's funny, no? <laughs> And what is really funny is how long I would be an inmate in Abbott for all I smoke, da? <laughs> <laughs> what is big difference? Sometimes I feel like inmate anyway. Eh. You ever put your hand in shadow? Alright. So he's just repeating himself now. Um, okay. So I'm supposed to kill him because he's a filthy... Um... Thank you. We call him a filthy immigrant. That's pretty rough. <laughs> kind of uh, illustrates the tone of the game. Listen, I think it is you want to go to Attic, da? The building is old. You may need to go. Well, we're not going to upset this guy. He seems like he's had so a bad enough time. This room that all the secrets will be revealed. I will employ an experimental device that helps me chart the undiscovered country. But you can't come to the show yet. First, you must prove to me that you truly want to be cured and that you truly are worthy of my time. See you soon, 
Alright, well, I guess we probably will be seeing you soon. Hopefully we can put him down for good. He's kind of annoying. Oh, hello. Monsters walk amongst us, talk. Don't you grasp the implications? It's a brave new world. Of course, such creatures are nothing new to you, are they? Uh, question mark. No idea. I mean, we've been seeing these things for a little while now. Admittedly. We've been killing them for almost as long. So that's a checkpoint walking through here. Yeah, dude, like, I cannot hear what you're saying. This is really bad game uh, design here. Dialogue. Right, let's try and turn. How's that? A little bit better. Okay, so another shooting gallery. We can handle that. How are we doing? Can we not? Can we not shoot that one? What about this one? Definitely can't shoot that one. All right. Nope. Can we shoot this one. Nope. Curious. I'm guessing we can't go that way. Must be able to destroy one of these. Hmm. Because we can't leave this area. Ah. Whoa, what the cheese and biscuits. Uh yeah, let's not be big monster guy. If we can help it. Right, come back down, you big old sack of shit. There we go. I think he's gone. Wait, there's another one? God damn it. Talk, brother. Calm down. That's not going to help us at all in this situation. Oh. Right. Yes. I guess we've just got to kill all the enemies. Right. Come on. Now we can. Nope. The hell is it? So. Ah. Alright. Come on. There we go. Nice try. I'll give you that. Nice bloody try. Oh! Okay, looks like there's just loads of these things. Alright. Let's see if we can kill all of them. So just get off me. Does this bloodstain thing disappear? Like, once they're all dead, or...? Like, how does this work? So that's three. Right, I guess there is actually a limit of how many are in there. What about this one? 
Not sure. All right, whatever. Let's uh, switch back to our axe. Whoop. Whoop. No? Seriously? I thought that would have been a no-brainer. you got to sh be shitting me. Surely. Oh, yeah. You just... I guess... Got to get the right pixel. But what... Right. Cool. Not quite... Oh, it drops that. I see. Got ya. Makes sense. Ooh. This place looks cool. Loads of flares. And assorted doodads. Hey, we've got the asylum map. Cool. Right. Progress of sorts. Um, asylum. Yeah, that map's alright, to be fair. It certainly is serviceable. Right, we can't go back in there. I'm not a huge fan of the doors closing behind you. Mainly because you then don't know where you've been. Well, this looks delicate. Is there anything we can do in here? It is the work that I do that makes me worthy of their attention. Uh -huh. Their gazing eyes that makes me a star of unprecedented proportions. My labors show signs of the human mind hitherto unseen, revealing that which makes us do right and wrong. Don't you wonder about that? What makes you do right and wrong? I guess conscience? If I had to... Oh! Something's going bump in the night. Hopefully something. Ooh. Ooh. Severe dementia, is it? Or perhaps chronic melancholia? Or is it an uncontrollable urge to regress back to a form unseen in modern society? One that will allow you to Ooh. set matters right in the most direct way possible. Yes, I think that's it. When all else fails, go for the easy way out. The obvious answer. The brute force solution. Okay. Maybe later. God help the beast within me. So, we've got a box. I'm guessing we've got to use that box for... So oh, something. Uh, dude. Sometimes it is the body that threatens the safety of the mind. Sometimes it must be removed. <laughs> All right, dude, you're dead. You made the right choice. Eh? It did? Didn't even know that was a choice. I don't even know how I could still be alive. I thought that was some sort of hallucination. But, you know, whatever, I guess. Can't do anything with the teddy bear. Let's hope there wasn't a child in that small little room. Can't go through there. Uh, there isn't any... Nowhere where we can get up and above, is there? Doesn't look like it. Ever wonder why you're so furious? Um... I mean, I... I, I guess it's crossed my mind, but this uh, furious nature of mine seems to help me murder all these monsters. So, is it really a curse? Have to forgive the mess. It's so hard to keep this place tidy when there is so much work to be done, uh -huh. and it is impossible to find decent help out here. Uh, but truly, this clutter doesn't even compare to the disorder inside your head, does it? That's where I do Ooh. hope to do some spring cleaning. Okay, well, potentially, 
This looks like something. Let's drop a save, just in case. Right. Do we really want to drop down here? Perhaps. Oh, hello. Yeah, you certainly like the sound of your own voice. I'll give you that. Okay, I guess we're at a loose end here. I mean, we do have this box. Is there anywhere? Ah! Hang on. Like, maybe we're not at a loose end. I'm just being a stupid ass. We are actually dangerously low on battery power. Which isn't good. I say I thought that was going to be a little bit f more fiddly than it was actually. All right, hopefully the monsters are just stay chill for a minute, whilst we can just shove this to where it needs to go. Oh, we can just push the box through the door. I think. Yep. Yep. We can just push the box through the door. All right. Well, I'm happy with that, I guess. We're going to have to line this up, like, proper perfectly, I guess. Come on. There we go. All right. wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Ooh. This is a rather large room. Full of nothing but probable death. I wouldn't say no to some batteries. The hell is that bullshit? Now that is some funky voodoo. All right. Um. Oh. So, does it go? Up or down? Um, or does it go up? Nope, whatever we've done is kind of final. Alas, the golden age of radio has passed us by. Who would care to broadcast only on the audio spectrum of human perception when it is a visual that can truly enrapture an audience? Uh -huh. Well, one of them tells me to murder just about everyone I come into contact with. The other one tries to convince me to, well, um, not murder everyone that I come in contact with. You see? So, we have a good voice and a bad voice. Probably rather hear no voices at all, though. If one had to choose. But I suppose if we had to hear a voice, our dead girlfriend is probably, you know, not as bad as it possibly could be. Having said that, we do have a demon in our head telling us to murder things. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess we're fucked either way. It's difficult to tell whether you can manipulate something or not in this game. Ah, there we go. I guess that's that. We just like move this out of the way. Ah, sly. I guess eventually it just runs out of whatever bits running on. Cool. So we managed to destroy. 
one at least. But what one? Yeah, we really do need that torch. Hmm. And we're down to our last set of batteries. Which certainly isn't particularly fantastic. So where? I guess we destroyed... Ah. Right. I'm guessing there's still work to be done around here. Can't go through there. Uh, I'm kind of lost. <laughs> Not going to lie. Not a big fan of this. Oh. Who said that? Oh. You're new. Oh, that's me. Apparently. Kind of curious. This Telsa coil do. Ooh. Alright, well, I have no idea what that was about. I guess we, like, cleansed ourselves or something. I guess we're going down. Let's get the shotgun out. I haven't played with the shotgun for a little while. Knock, knock. I'm almost getting like a condemned vibe from this game. Almost. Yeah, I appreciate the ammo. But... We really need batteries, game. Oh! That was bad. Uh, oh! Cool. That was... That was actually kind of cool. It's interesting to have, like, these sort of, like, water mechanics and stuff in this game. Certainly don't expect it. Right, that's going to take us back up, I guess, but there's got to be more down here to explore. At least I thought there might be more down here to explore. Oh. In this new bar, the projected light, one problem still remains. It is so very difficult to find good talent. Certainly, I am able to bring life to this piece of celluloid, but who to appear opposite me? Who to play Iago to my <laughs> Tello? Eliza Doolittle to my Henry Higgins? My choice? Artificial actors. Synthetic, pathetic people. Well, these things definitely do seem to complain. That's for sure. But, you know, you carry on making your own sort of... I don't know, I don't know how... I don't know how we shake those guys off. I thought you just tapped A, but... Maybe not. So, this guy actually, I guess, found a way to bring um, celluloid, as he says, to life. Which is kind of curious. And our torch is about to run out. Can't do anything with that. Ah. 
another one of those. Right. We can't go back yet. I'm guessing somehow we've got to block that off. Somehow. Oh, so when our torch runs out, we've still got a torch. It's just uh, considerably darker, I guess. Oh! Kind of seems pretty obvious now, doesn't it? Oh. Or maybe not. I was kind of wondering how um, <laughs> blocking it with a, a very hollow box was actually going to make much of a difference, but, well, maybe I just need to have more faith in the game. Okay. So, how are we doing? So, I'm guessing... We've got one more. One more that we need to sort out. Yeah, we've got loads of zombium. Ooh. The zombium isn't our bo Ah! Isn't our bottleneck. That's a rather difficult question to answer, I'm afraid. This Warsaw could not handle what he saw in the ink. Tell me what you see, Talk. Um. Well, I mean, it looks like you pulled his eye out. Now, what do we see? Uh. It's like a funny hat, if you ask me. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of ink. Oh, is that a rhetorical question? Ah, my bad. Okay. So. Now, we can... Ooh. Now you're talking. And some metal going on. Ah, uh, of course. Oh, hello. At last, you have made it to the climax of this fine performance. Let me introduce our newest player. This fascinating specimen is a creature of purest strength and rage, whose presence here must prove quite a conundrum to you. His resemblance to these other soulless beasts cannot be denied, but he is altogether harder to truly understand. But with the capabilities of my experimental device, I can bring about a rebirth of the spirit, a reawakening of the soul. And thus, we can shed light on this most unique situation. Why not come inside, and I shall show you? Uh, sure? I guess? Why not? I was gonna say, how do I, uh, come inside? Uh, I mean, it's a theory. It's a w <laughs> Can't you see that you're killing me? Ah. Uh, yes. Yes, sure you are. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm just using the options that are available to me. Um. Last shotgun shell. That's bad. So, what do we have left? Um. Ah, there's another one there. Got ya. 
That's okay. Everybody stay calm. What does this button do? I guess not a huge amount. Um. So, ow. Excuse me, dude. I'm trying to kill your boss. Sort of. If you don't mind, you're kind of getting in the way here. Do we have to kill this guy, maybe? Or maybe not? What am I missing here? What am I missing? There is... He's flickering. He's definitely weak. Um, do we have to, oh, can we actually free our alter ego type thing? Ow, pain, hurts, very nasty. That looks like, no, I guess not. Alright, look. Let's just rage out a minute. A little bit like so. Uh, can we smash this glass? Nope. Right, let's change back. I am sort of out of ideas here. Sort of. Are we really sure we can't do anything with this? Ah. Ah, wait a minute. Can we? Nope. Aha! What about if we get one of them up there? Come on. There we go. No? Hmm. How can we? Ah, wait. Hang on. Can we jump on? Nope. I guess not. How do we get up there? Seems pretty clear cut. We've got to get up there somehow. Whoa. Dude, you're not making this easy. Ah, hello. That'll work. Uh, this is bad. Um. Do we... Like... Can we jump onto this? We can jump onto this. Can we move that? We cannot move that. Um, do we say hello to our alter ego? Do we kill it? Nope. Do we push the button now? Ah. Seems kind of more like it. Wait. Let's try activating that whilst we stand under it. Not 100% sure if this is a great idea. Use right trigger to use rebirth power. What? The hell? Uh, I hope we've done something good here. I... Belgium? What are you talking about? Talking a load of old nonsense if you ask me. I guess we're out of there. That was uh, certainly a different uh, 
aspect of the game. Kind of interesting, going around a haunted, well, kind of like a mansion type thing. Um, yeah, I thought it was a bit mazy, but actually it wasn't that bad. Interesting boss fight with Killjoy as well. We'll read his page, um, or listen to his page in the next part as well. So, Anyway guys, we made it. We survived. I think we barely survived. And uh, I don't know if this rebirth ability is going to be something that carries on with us throughout the game. I guess we'll find out. Till next time. Thanks for watching.